This is the AT Tiny 85. It's basically an Arduino, just much smaller. So it's perfect if you want to shrink down your Arduino project or if you want to make them more battery friendly. Today, I'm going to show you how you can program it using the Arduino IDE. And best of all, this works with all newer versions of the Arduino IDE. Since the AT Tiny 85 is designed to be small and compact, there are no USB connections. So in order to upload your Arduino code, we must use a programmer. But luckily, if you have, for instance, an Arduino Uno or a Nano, we can just use that as the programmer. Although this is a fairly easy project, we're going to divide it into three chapters. Number one, setting up the programmer. Number two, downloading and installing the AT Tiny Core. And number three, programming the AT Tiny. And at the very end, there are going to be some additional tips and tricks. So let's start by setting up the programmer. I'm going to be using an Arduino Nano, but everything will be the same if you're using an Uno. Connect your Arduino to your computer and open the Arduino IDE. Open the Arduino ISP example by clicking File, Examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. Then click Tools and make sure you have selected the correct board as well as the port. And click Upload. The Arduino is now a programmer, ready to be used. So let's connect it to a breadboard and wire it up to the AT Tiny 85. This breadboard is going to be a permanent programmer. So I like to mark pin 1, ground and VCC with a sharpie to make it easier in the future to program new AT Tinys. I mount the AT Tiny so that pin 1 is up and to the left. Continuing down, you have pin 2, 3 and 4 on the left side and pin 5, 6, 7 and 8 on the right side, counting from the bottom up. Note that these are the physical pin numbers and not the same as the Arduino pins. I start by connecting ground from the Arduino to the ground rail of the breadboard and 5 volt to the power rail. Then I connect ground and 5 volts to the AT Tiny. Add a 10 microfarad capacitor between ground and reset of the Arduino. Make sure you have the negative side of the capacitor connected to ground. Add a 104 or a 0.1 microfarad capacitor from the ground pin of the AT Tiny to a free rail on the breadboard. Then connect this rail to 5 volt of the AT Tiny to keep the wires as short as possible. If you don't have the exact capacitor value at hand, use something as close as possible. Now, connect D13 on the Arduino to pin 7. D12 goes to pin 6. D11 goes to pin 5. And finally, D10 goes to pin 1. And then the finished programmer should look something like this. Now that the programmer is completed, the next step should be a breeze. Let's continue with step 2, installing the AT Tiny Core. Open the Arduino IDE and click File and select Preferences. Paste the following URL into the Additional Boards Manager field. The URL can be found in the description of this video. And then click OK. Go to Tools, Board, and click Boards Manager. Search for AT Tiny and install the AT Tiny Core. When you now go back to Tools and Boards, all the supported boards of the AT Tiny Core will show up. We're going to use the AT Tiny 85 board. Okay, now we built the programmer and installed the AT Tiny Core. Let's continue to step 3, which is the actual programming of the AT Tiny 85. Make sure you have selected the correct board and the right chip. Then, choose the clock frequency you want the AT Tiny to run on. 
If you select the wrong frequency, all timing events will be wrong. So if you have a one second delay, it can suddenly last for eight seconds. This is why I always burn the bootloader before I upload any code. Set the other options as you prefer. Before burning the bootloader or uploading any code, you need to select the correct programmer. Select Arduino as ISP 80 Tiny Core. Let's upload the Blink sketch to make sure everything is working as expected. You can find the code under File, Examples, Basics, Blink. I'm connecting an LED to the physical pin 2 of the AT Tiny. Since it's 5 volts, you should connect a resistor in series with the LED, but it's only going to be blinking for short intervals and as a test, so the LED will not burn out. Pin 2 of the AT Tiny is going to be pin 3 in the Arduino code. I'm making the LED blink faster and only delay for 500 milliseconds. Before uploading the code, go to Tools and click Burn Bootloader. This is not necessary if you're sure that the current settings of your AT Tiny are correct. Then click Upload. After the blinking stops and it says Upload Complete, you're done! Now you can remove the AT Tiny from the breadboard and feed it 5 volt and ground and it's running. It's now programmed. If you're experiencing any troubles with the programmer, there's a couple of things you should check. Make sure all your wires are well connected to the breadboard. If that doesn't help, try using a different USB cable. I actually have one cable that cannot burn the bootloader. I can upload code, but it just can't burn the bootloader. And finally, keep in mind that wires and breadboards are easily affected by interference. So make sure you keep it away from mains electricity and chargers. Also, there's a lot of helpful tips on the AT Tiny Core GitHub page. Thank you to Spence Conde for all your work on this and other projects. And thank you for watching.